Spurgeon here with Revzilla TV to talk to you today about the Climb Stowaway Jacket available at Revzilla.com. So for 2015, Climb has updated their classic stowaway jacket. This is going to be a destination rain jacket that's going to easily pack up within a little pouch in its right hand pocket so you can store it on your motorcycle and when you get to where you're going, whether it's a campsite or a small town you're walking around, you're going to have rain protection. Now, we're going to have Ethan on my left hand side. Ethan's going to be 5'9", 230 pounds with a 44 inch chest, a classic American build for a classic American cut from Climb. Now, what we're going to see here is we're going to have him in the extra large and it fits him pretty well perfectly. Keep in mind, this is not meant to be worn over a motorcycle jacket. You can possibly wear it over some light motocross gear, but really we're looking at a destination jacket here. Sizes are going to range from small to 3XL, and then you're also going to see that we're going to have Ethan in the bright blue color option. There's also going to be a black version and a gray version as well. Now, as far as climb is concerned, they're really known for being a performance on-road, off-road, dual sport company, giving you garments that you can simply beat the hell out of and they take a licking and keep on going. What we're gonna see with this particular jacket around the $230 price point, it's gonna give you all that waterproof protection of Gore-Tex. And then if you wanna bump up to something more of a standalone option, maybe you want something that's gonna be your one-piece jacket, it's gonna have some protection built into it, take a look at the Climb Traverse. That would be a step up from this particular garment. But if you're just out there looking for a nice waterproof jacket, something you can throw on when you get to where you're going, Stowaway's going to be a great option for you. So let's take a look at what we're looking at here as far as the construction is concerned. It's going to be Gore-Tex, performance shell, two layer, ripstop technology, just keeping everything nice and tight for you. You're not going to have to worry about this thing shredding up. You're not going to have to worry about it leaking. Again, guaranteed waterproof. That's what you get when you're buying Gore-Tex. So we're looking at a jacket that's been slightly redesigned for 2015. Nothing major here, but we do have a few little things we want to point out. First and foremost, when you're working your way down through the shell here, Ethan, I'm going to take your arm up for a second. They're going to redesign the cuffs on this. So you're going to have a Velcro cuff, but they've done away with the elasticity. So you're really going to have one option there as far as getting that down. And it's going to work out nicely. Ethan has a little bit shorter arms, and it still works out for him. And again, if you're working that over gloves or something like that, you're going to be able to use that Velcro to just get it fine-tuned the way you want it. Now, Ethan, I'm going to have you open up that right-hand side pocket. And what he's going to notice is that the zippers have been redesigned as well. There's not going to be that flap over the zipper like the older model. They've gone with just a water-resistant zipper and a smaller pull for it. Now, Ethan's going to notice there's a little pocket in here. This is the stowaway pocket, again, with the stowaway jacket. When he reaches his destination, he can pull that jacket off, and the jacket actually folds into itself and stores in a nice little pocket there. Ethan, if you don't mind, could you throw that back in there for me? I'm going to have you turn and face away and just throw that arm up in the rider position for me. Okay, now when we're looking down the side of this jacket, you're going to see a little bit of redesign reflectivity. There's not too much reflectivity on this particular jacket. Again, it's really meant to be worn once you're off the motorcycle. You're going to see these giant pit zips on the right hand and left hand side, and this is going to give you a maximum amount of venting. Again, if you're out there, you're walking around, it's just going to help to breathe a little bit of air, and they've really done this in an area that's not going to be too exposed to water. And then when you do zip it up, again, those waterproof or the water resistant, rather, YKK zips. You can go ahead and face backwards for me. Now, very plain back, you're going to see a nice drop seat to this, so if you are wearing a pair of rain pants, to make sure that there's no leakage going through in an extreme rain situation. Now, when you're checking out the hood on this particular jacket, my one nitpick is the fact that there's no way to detach this from the jacket itself. There's no little pouch to store it in, so it's really going to inhibit you from using it on a motorcycle. So despite the fact that Climb says that you can use this over your motocross gear on a bike, I'm going to have to disagree with them on that. Now, if you want something that doesn't have that hood, check out the forecast from Climb. I think that's going to be a little more oriented to someone that wants to use a particular rain garment on a motocross bike with all of your gear thrown on. Ethan, you can go ahead and turn around the face front for me. I'm going to have you go ahead and unzip the jacket. Again, while he's unzipping the jacket, he's going to notice YKK water-resistant zippers. There are going to be the adjustments for the hood up top. I'm going to have you just open up that right side for me, hold it open. So you're going to notice there's going to be a nice sweat wicking mesh liner in this just to help keep you dry. And the final thing to note is there's going to be a nice pull tab adjuster down at the waist so you can fine tune this to your particular body shape. You can go ahead and zip that up for me. Now while he's zipping it up, just keep in mind, the stowaway is your destination rain jacket. This is going to be the piece of gear that you keep on your bike so you're, so you're dry once you get to where you're going. Now there's a lot of folks out there rocking climb gear. If you want to hear more about what they have to say, do me a favor, click the info button. Read what other riders are digging about the climb gear they're taking on their rides. If you have more questions for us, never hesitate, get us on the phone, give us a call, 877-792-9455, or simply type us out an email, cs at Thank you for joining us for this look at the Climb Stowaway Jacket. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.